Well, well, well. Hello, my friend. Hope you're having an awesome day. And uh, today I want to talk to you about uh, something that I recently heard about. Um, this is a term you've probably heard before, but you really never had it defined. If someone were to press you and ask you, what exactly do you mean when you say that? You might, as I would have until recently, had some challenges defining this term. And the interesting thing about this term is that what we what has been found is that most people who are having challenges and reaching out and achieving their goals, the reason why they're reaching out and having troubles achieving their goals is because they haven't been able to deal with this term. Now, what's this term? The term is paradigm shift or your paradigm. What is a paradigm? You know, um, there's a, a phrase by a gentleman by the name of uh, Stephen Covey. He talks about paradigms in his book, Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. He tells the story of um, a guy with a bunch of kids who gets on a bus and the kids are rambunctious and they're, you know, just making a mess of things and they're acting up and the father's just sitting there. And I just and the kids are just disturbing everyone on the bus until someone finally reaches over to the father and says, are you going to do something about your kids? And the father looks up, acknowledges and says, oh, yeah, I will. Um, we're coming back from the funeral. Their mother just passed away. And once that person who asked the father to deal with their kids heard that, it totally changed their whole feeling about the kids and what they were doing. In fact, everyone who was in earshot of that issue suddenly became the supportive person or persons for this family that had just gone through this tragedy. And that's what Stephen Covey talks about when he says the words uh, paradigm. Well, what's a paradigm? The greatest definition I've heard, and I've only heard this recently, and that's why I wanted to share it with you, is that a paradigm is a collection of habits. It's a collection of habits that you may have picked up over the years. Some of them may come from your childhood. Some may come from your adult life. But these are a collection of habits that if unless you intentionally do something about them, you're going to get them automatically. And the only thing that can change those habits is, number one, a traumatic event, or number two, an intentional focus on working to change those habits. So... As you're going towards that golden dream, and the reason I wanted to say this is I want to tie it back to what I said yesterday. As you're making those moves towards your meaningful goal or dream, the thing that can hold you back and hinder you are your paradigms. You see, the paradigms that you have, and I, I can't remember the um, quote by Einstein totally, I'll paraphrase it, but he says, you know, the mindset or the abilities that get you where you are now are not gonna be the abilities and mindsets that get you to the next level towards your goals. You're gonna to have to make some changes. Well, the place you make your changes is to those paradigms. You learn paradigms that are gonna support you or you shift to paradigms that are gonna support you in reaching the goals that you have. Now, how do you do that? We'll talk a little bit about that tomorrow. But the key here, and what I really want you to think about is what habits, what habits do you have that don't support you in your, in your journey towards success? Remember yesterday we said success is the progressive realization of your worthwhile goal or dream? Well, what habits do you have that are not supporting you in that progressive realization? Do a self-inventory, figure out what those are, and start working to eradicate those. Now, as always, to help you understand this, to help you put some feet behind us, to help you go to a higher level of understanding, as Einstein said, you gotta be a reader. Readers are leaders. And I don't care as you know, unless you do, if you do it on a Kindle, if you get a hard book, or you do it through Audible, but you gotta be reading. Top five books that you should be reading right now, inbox me, I'll get that list of the top five to you. In the meantime, do that self inventory. Again, do the self inventory, and inbox me for the top five books you should be reading right now. Have an awesome, blessed day, and we'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye now.